Now, the state of Florida may be shaped like a limp dick, but we here at Off the Wire, we here at Off the Wire sure get hard when we hold our primaries. Let's take a look. Florida, often called the basement of the nation because it's wet, it's buggy, and cousins often do things down here they shouldn't. But today, this great state has the attention of the nation for the Republican Florida primary. Let's go. Who do you support in the election? Ronnie, no, no, uh, Gringus. Uh, Gringus? No, the other one. Romney. Not, not Gringus. The other guy. Are you voting in the Republican primary today? <laughs> Why do you want to know what happened? Thank you, Julio. That was Julio and Misa Jodger Binks. You don't want an interview? Come on, I think you do. I think you do want an interview. Look at you, come on. You are voting? Do you mind if I ask who? You haven't, all right, you are going to the voting booth right now, but you haven't decided? Today's the day. I know. So what are you gonna do? Names out of a hat? Just, what do you do? Maybe the underdog. The underdog? Yeah. Who's that? Santorum. You're voting for Santorum? So I got, a, I got one. Rick Santorum walks into a bar and nobody notices. Okay. If Rick Santorum gives a speech in the woods, but there's no one there to hear it, doesn't make a sound. What came first? The bad idea or Rick Santorum? If Rick Santorum had a nickel for every dollar Mitt Romney has, oh. he'd be Rick Santorum. He'd be rich, yeah. He would be Rick Santorum, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Oh. I would have voted for Ron Paul, because I think he's the one with the sanest statements to be made in the debates. I watched all the debates and he was obviously the one that made the most sense. But do you think the country is ready for a garden gnome president? What, what issues were important to you uh, in this election? Well, mainly the uh, presidential election. The issue of the presidential election. I was a Democrat and I'm not a Democrat anymore because I thought that Hillary Clinton really deserved the nomination and be president of the United States. But I'm over that now. And uh, I will be voting for you. It took you a while. It took Are you, me a while. Like yesterday you woke oh up God. and you were like, yes. okay. okay. You don't know. It has taken me so <laughs> long. What's your name? Uh, Samuel. Are you lying to me? Yeah. Who does that? What, <laughs> what is your name, sir? I told you, Samuel. All right, this is not Samuel, but here you go. No, Samuel L. Samuel L? Yeah, that's what I was Jackson? Saying. I just got something to say, man. All right. I hate society, all right? That's all I got to say. I hate society. Mm. You do a little time in prison, they don't gonna want to give you a job. They don't want to give you nothing. What are your problems with Obama? Well, yeah, I believe he's a socialist. I have a little problem with the welfare thing of this country as far as, you know, people not working and getting by basically because of our hard work. I think he speaks from both sides of his uh, lips, his tongue. Isn't that how you speak though? How do you? I work on a comedy show, uh, so and we like to make people laugh. So uh, would you mind saying something conservative, please? <laughs> Can we just like stop? Can we stop? Stop what? Just, just stop and listen to God and let God direct. 2012. Yeah. It's a heavy subject. <laughs> heavy stuff.